Contact tracing is a process that has come up lately. It is the detective work that involves tracking down anyone who has been in contact with coronavirus patients so that they can isolate. The University of Houston is starting something new, allowing students to become disease detectives in exchange for college credit. Channel 2's Bill Barajas is live at the U of H with the details now. Bill? Well, registration for the program started today. As you mentioned, it is available to students here at the University of Houston, but it is also available to staff and faculty members here at U of H. The entire goal of this initiative and this program is to help train the next generation of contact tracers or disease detectives to help stop the spread of the virus. It's a 12-hour course that can be completed in just four days. We're about in the third inning of a nine-inning game, so we need to have a a ready core of individuals that are trained to contribute. Program organizer Dr. Bettina Beach says the EpiCorps program will train future contact tracers. They learn about basic epidemiology. They learn about how to do good interviewing and what skills are needed. Um, we need somebody that's detail-oriented, empathetic. Contact tracing is a way to stop the spread of the virus by helping coronavirus patients recall everyone they've been in contact with leading up to them contracting the virus. Contract tracers would then notify those individuals of the possible exposure and risk. The program is a collaboration between U of H and the Houston and Harris County Health Departments. Students lost all of their summer plans because of this. So some students are getting credit hours. Some students are doing internships. Some students may be hired by the health department. So it's a variety of different ways that they'll come to work on this. U of H says several hundred thousand contract tracers will be needed across the country. Here in Texas, 4,000 will be hired by mid-May. The Houston Health Department says they are eager to see just how many students sign up. Well, we've been at this battle for eight weeks, just like all of our other counterparts had. And, and you know, we're a little tired, too. So to bring that breath of fresh air for folks that are, that are young and excited is, I think, going to be a, a nice balance. And U of H says the course curriculum will be updated constantly to make sure that those taking the program have the very latest information. Now, they also say that they plan to open up this program to the public for free as well. Live from U of H, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Bill, thank you. All